Hi, God bless you. Welcome to Truth in Brief. And I'd like to share with you a bit about enduring wealth. Wealth that endures. You see, many preachers focus on getting money from people. But the Bible tells us not just how to, you know, get money, but it tells us how to make money, how to create wealth, what to do with money, and also how not to make money. Because you see, when people create wealth, Contrary to the will of God and contrary to the divine protocols, that wealth cannot endure. Now, here is uh, Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 11. It says, this is the NIV, Proverbs 13, 11. It says, dishonest money dwindles away. Dishonest money. In other words, money that is gotten by dishonest means will dwindle away. He said, but he who gathers money little by little makes it grow. Of course, a generation that is in a hurry to be wealthy will not like this verse. What do you want to gather little by little? He wants to, you know, make a trillion in a second. But that's not the way God works. And that's not the way scripture works. Now, but listen to this scripture in the Amplified. When I saw it, it's true light on that scripture. The Amplified Classic Translation. It says, wealth not earned, but won in haste or unjustly or from the production of things for vain or detrimental use. It's a wealth that is not earned, but this wealth, this money, is won in haste. One or two, it is gotten unjustly. In other words, either by cheating or but, but it's not gotten righteously. And then number three says, or from the production of things for vain or detrimental use. In other words, if you are making money from things that are vain, vanity, number one, and then things that are for detrimental use. The Bible says, such riches will dwindle away, but he who gathers little by little will increase. So you see, in the kingdom, the way to wealth creation is not a sudden leap. Of course, there are some people that God will bless, you know, supernatural favor, but that's not the normal. You, the plan of God is that you will gather little by little. You will grow wealth, mm? and then you will increase. So listen to the categories of wealth that are mentioned, and you must not get money this way. And if you're already doing that, you have to repent, because the Bible tells us what is going to happen that kind of money is going to dwindle, number one, and then in eternity, we are going to give account of our lives to God. Imagine making money from things that destroy other people's lives. Making money from drugs, alcohol, prostitution. Making money from fraud. Stealing what people call government money. Padding contracts. And there are many of us in the church that do such things. Or stealing or cheating other people, or, you know, shaving off the edges so that, you know, you wrong weights and measures, uh, padding the cost of, of um, working materials. A lot of artisans, workmen, mechanics, they put a lot of prices on the materials, and then they charge you some labor. You would know that they've already cheated you by adding money to what they're supposed to use to do the work. So that kind of wealth that is not earned, one in haste, or one unjustly, or from the production of things for vain. If you are making money from things that destroy people's life, that destroy families, from marketing things that are wrong, ungodly entertainment, you are making money from something that is sinful, the Bible tells us that that kind of money is going to disappear. But God wants you to prosper. He said, beloved, I wish above all things that you will prosper and you will be in health even as your soul prospers. So you see, the plan of God for us is holistic prosperity. That is God's plan. Not for us to make haste, to make money, and then money that will not endure, and then money that will destroy our souls in the lake of fire. That's not God's plan. Now, let's pray the blessing of God on you and on your business. And if you are doing some kind of business that is not right, don't be afraid. Repent of it, put that away, and God will make a way for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that an anointing for enduring wealth will rest on my brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. God bless you. 
bye bye. Remember, check out the uh, you know treasures from translation series. This one is called incalculable riches, and then you've also got the whispers of his power, and then infinitely superior. Talking about the superiority of our Lord Jesus, they just show you the wonder of seeing so much revelation as you read scriptures from many translations. Okay, God bless you. Bye bye. Maker of heaven.